sigh, but she looks like trouble. Her lips so kissable and poisonous. I know she won't be good for me. So hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Or if you're new here, hello and welcome. I'm Jack, but when I'm in drag, I go by Luna Rose. Cause I'm the flower that blooms at night. And for today's makeup transformation, we are transforming into this soft, gorgeous, glowy, boy to girl Barbie bombshell. This makeup tutorial is also filmed in collaboration with Jekka Black Cosmetics. So shout out to Jekka Black Cosmetics for sponsoring today's video. I'll be using a selection of their products in today's video, and I will also leave all their website, all their details, all the products I use of them in the description box down below. And without further ado, let's transform, shall we? Thanks for watching. Bye. What was that? That was literally nothing came out. I've lost it, girl. I've lost it. <laughs> so I'm going to be starting off this transformation with a freshly cleansed, shaved and moisturized face. The only makeup I currently have on is my eyebrows. And like I said, this video is sponsored by Jekka Black, which is a cosmetic brand that is vegan, cruelty free and designed to celebrate all makeup wearers. So to prep and prime my skin and give me a nice, flawless, long-lasting base, I'm going to take the Jekka Black Blur and Matte Makeup Primer. This will help minimise the appearance of my pores, help mattify my skin, as well as help even out my texture and help increase the longevity of my makeup. Now that my skin is all nicely prepped and primed, I'm going to take the Jekka Black Correct and Conceal Palette, and I'm using the shade Medium 3.0. So this is a nice, silky, lightweight cream concealer with a medium coverage, so you get an orange tone colour corrector, which orange toned colour correctors are absolutely amazing for evening out blue tones in your skin, so I'm mainly concentrating this under my eyes to help even out kind of the discoloration under my eyes and dark circles, as well as over my 5 o'clock shadow beard area just to help even it out and give me a little bit more life to my skin and not give that like ashy grey five o'clock shadow look. It does also come with a medium coverage concealer which I'm going to lay on top of that colour correcting base just to add a little bit more coverage and help even out my five o'clock shadow as well as help even out those dark under eye circles. From here I then just went in with my medium coverage liquid foundation all over my face and I did also blend this a little bit down my neck just to help even out and like match my face to my body since I did have a little bit of fake tan on. For me when it comes to my makeup I want something super blendable and something that just blends out seamlessly and it's just nice and effortless. My foundation actually blended so nicely over my base due to that primer and that colour corrector and that concealer evening out my five o'clock shadow did wonders for me. So now that my foundation is nicely blended out, I'm going to take the Jekka Black Sculpt and Soften Palette, and I'm using the shade Light. This is a nice, soft, creamy, buildable formula contouring duo. So I'm going to take the Soften shade under my eyes to help brighten, lift, and emphasize my features. Generally for me, I take a lighter product under my eyes as well as the central portion of my face. This helps kind of give the illusion of a smaller face and a more like feminized facial structure. So I concentrated this product mainly on the very central portion of my face and like I said this product is so blendable so like buildable and just such a good product I was so impressed with how seamlessly this blended onto my skin as well as just how skin like it actually looked I did layer on a little bit of a lighter concealer under my eyes since you guys know I am a full-on drag queen I wanted a very like dramatic sculpted appearance to my skin so I try and make my under eyes as bright as possible since I do not want my dark circles to be seen, girl. So I did layer on a little bit of white concealer just on that very, like, central under eye region and a little bit on my jawline. What is also really cute about this product is that it does come with a 34-page booklet explaining how to contour. So I'm going to go over how I like to contour, but it does actually come with so many different things to do with face shapes and to teach you on different areas of your face and how to, like, sculpt and contour them. But what I like to do is go back into the sculpting shade in that palette, and I just take this on a flat kind of kabuki brush and just blend it all on the perimeter of my forehead, as well as quite high up on my cheekbones, since my face is very rounded and... I want like a really nice sculpted kind of cheekbone to my face. Again, this will help kind of lift my facial structure, feminize my face, and just give me a little bit more definition to it. I do also run this along my jawline and kind of my um, 
double chin area to help minimize that and again give me a little bit of definition give me a little bit of color i did also take this as a base for my eyeshadow look since if you want a very like natural look it's a really good idea to go in with cream products particularly really nice buildable products like this that just blend really nicely so i did also take that to contour my nose and kind of map out a general eye shape which honestly i thought this eye look was so simple but definitely is going to be a go-to for me once I'm happy with kind of how all my cream products are sitting on my skin and nicely blended out, I do go in with a like heavy amount of loose setting powder just to nicely lock this makeup in place. That primer will help the longevity of my makeup, but um, you know, I go in with a lot of powder. I did also then just quickly go in and fill in my brows, but while I do, let's talk a little bit more about Jekka Black. So Jekka Black is an entirely cruelty-free and vegan makeup brand, which is such an important factor for me. And Jekka Black's mission is to be the brand that represents all beauty lovers, all expressions, genders, sexualities, abilities, pronouns, shapes, and sizes, which again is such an important thing for me. They deserve so many props for allowing that freedom and celebrating that freedom, celebrating all genders, and all the different ways we can express ourselves with the art form of makeup. So back to the makeup. I just took a matte white eyeshadow under my brow bone and then a bronzer all over the crease of my eye. Since pretty much wherever you go in with a cream contour or a cream highlight, you want to like reinforce it and add a little bit more definition with a powder product. So I just went in with a little bit of powder bronzer all through the crease of my eye to kind of set and emphasize that base. I went in with that sculpting shade from Jekka Black. And then I took a slightly deeper shade of brown closest to my lash line just to kind of smoke it out slightly. From here, I just went in and did a very soft, subtle, little winged liner. You guys know normally I do like a full-on dramatic drag wing, but I want this look to be very soft, and you guys see like a very soft, feminine version of Luna Rose. I did then also just smoke a little bit of bronzer under my lower lash line, and then, like I said, wherever I went in with that sculpt and soften palette with the kind of darker shade, I reinforced it with a powder bronzer. I did then go in with a little bit of pink blush to the backs of my cheekbones, since you guys know I love a very flush look when I'm in drag. And then I applied some highlighter to the very tops of my cheekbones, just in the areas that I wanted to look a little bit more glowy, since that primer will help keep the central portion of my face matte, which is what I want, but I want kind of the tops of my cheekbones to have that nice dewy effect. And then the final step of my makeup routine is my lips. So I always go in with a kind of a neutral nudie brown lip liner. And then to fill it in, I took the Jekka Black lipstick in the shade Play Nude, which you guys know, a nude lipstick is my jam. It is my vibe. And this lipstick is so stunning. And this lipstick literally lasted the entire day after I finished filming this tutorial. It does have a very nice matte finish and it was super creamy to apply. It went on my lips really nicely and smoothly and... You guys know, nude lipsticks are my jam, but you guys also know I am super extra, so I took the Jekka Black Play Pot in the shade Pink Pearl, which is a multi-use cream pigment, so you can use this on your eyes, or your cheeks, or on your lips, and I just laid a little bit of this on the very central portion of my lips, just to add a little bit more of like a pouty, three-dimensional effect, and, you know... I'm living, girl. I think this is such a cute combo. And then that is my finished transformation. All I've got to do is throw on lashes, throw on my wig, and change my outfit. And then that is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this transformation. And once again, shout out to Jekka Black. Thank you so much for sponsoring today's video. And I really do support your mission. I really think makeup should be for all genders, all sexes, all ages, all sizes. And I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Thanks for watching.